A woman with a disability is accusing Tampa's housing authority of discrimination in a new federal lawsuit. Taking action reporter Jackie Calloway was in court as that resident made her case before the judge. Ouch. Rhonda Torres says some days are better than others. And then when it gets too painful, I just lean on my crotch. Rhonda relies on a disability check and Section 8 housing to get by. And she depends on her daughter, Ashley, who helps with everything from groceries and laundry to picking her up when she falls. My bones are going outward. Sometimes I start to slip and fall. But the Tampa Housing Authority does not consider her daughter a living caregiver and said Rhonda would lose her housing subsidy if Ashley does not move out. I don't know what else to do. I, I just think that it's unfair. Rhonda filed suit in federal court against the Housing Authority accusing the agency of handicap discrimination. I contacted both the agency and its attorney who refused to comment, citing pending litigation. On Wednesday, Rhonda and her attorney from Bay Area Legal Services pled their case in federal court. During the hour-long hearing, the attorney for the Housing Authority argued that this case would actually violate federal housing regulations because Mrs. Torres's daughter financially contributes to the household. Live-in aides are not supposed to, according to federal rules. But Rhonda's lawyer says the law is on his side. That rule that does not apply to my client's situation. Moments ago, we received word that a federal judge dismissed the lawsuit, saying Rhonda's request was out of line with housing authority policies. Her lawyer has not yet decided whether to appeal. I'm Jackie Calloway taking action for you. Jackie, thank you.